morning and good afternoon and good evening. I'm Bob Getz, producer, host of OMN TV. And this gentleman to my right is Ron Gagnon. I am the co-host and the funny man going to pick on Bobby all night. Yeah, the wannabe. <laughs> okay, and the people that we have right in front of us, well, technically not right in front of us, they're, they're on the TV screen, and uh, it's called Alibi Tracks. Let me see, from my left to my right is uh, Al Kelly, Rosie McPadden, and Bill uh, Whalen. I'll get my teeth working, I'll be fine. Um, so Whalen and the boys. Let's let's just <laughs> let's just start with who is Alibi Tracks? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's Alibi Tracks. Yeah. I don't know. It's uh, I suppose it's three three messes basically. <laughs> three dancers. <laughs> three dancers. Three people don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Um, we originally started with two. Three yeah. Two. So I don't know if you want to talk about the history. So uh, the history of, of Alibi actually dates back to kind of me and Al playing music, actually metal, from the age of like 12, 13. And that's when the kind of musical relationship started. And basically 20 years later, it started, well, my one of the electronic group. And then um, Rosie joined then like a year and a half ago. And yeah. that's... What alibi is, I suppose, the most? More commercial, uh, I suppose. Oh, it's infused. Had a hell of a lot more commercial. Yeah, yeah. It's different well, ways you can swing we used to be quite, it. We started off, I suppose, more, a lot, very industrial. Um, and then we quickly, you know, developed very quickly over about two or three songs. It developed just much more uh, commercial, a, a, lot, a lot more easy to listen to. And obviously, that. That was made much easier when we all joined the band. Yeah, because we were, to say, me and Al start from metal backgrounds. So when we started it first, it was kind of, um, we, we just immediately got into like the, the harder kind of hitting beats, so it was kind of much more industrial. And then after about a year, we kind of went, hang on. A bit bored of that. Yeah, it was just, we tried to get that out of the system and we would start writing songs like Be With Me and um, Horizons. And we're in different, just a completely different slant musically. And then um, we, we were shooting this video for Collision, just having a bit of fun. And then I started playing bass, and we started getting this idea of getting another person in the band. And we thought, well, female, and then thought, Rosie. And so. Um, the rest is history. The rest is history. Yes, here so, I am. That's, that's, uh, that's it. That's where we're at at the moment. Yeah. Well, it's a long winded answer to a simple question. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I, I heard you state that, that your music was, uh, was easy. Uh, I, I won't tell that to my neck because your your music has a beat that wants to move my head, and all of a sudden I start getting this neck ache, and at my age that could be detrimental. <laughs> yeah, we try and flick that onto everyone that uh, listens to our music. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully that's that's, that's what Yeah, what I what I've heard you guys do is phenomenal. I think. You know, it just it, it it gets you moving, and it's like, okay, let's hear some more. Get with it. Now, uh, the uh, our introing the show, um, we, we 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 normally play one of our own songs. Oh, actually, one of Ron's songs, but we replaced it with one of your songs, uh, and the title is called Salvation. What's that song all about? Yeah, that's well, it's a, probably a bit of Irish history. Um, the North, the South division, kind of a bit of scarred living, you know. Oh, you, so you yeah. have a you have a Mason, uh, Mason Dixon line too. Sorry? You have a Mason Dixon line also? Say again? Say again. <laughs> yeah, what he's talking about is back in back in the history. It was the North against the South. And it was a, a and Mason it was, Dixon line. So. Yeah, it was the Yankees against the Rebels. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I we, think every country has its head. Yes, <laughs> I agree. Uh, well, we were trying to add humor to it, and I guess it just went all, whoop, over the head. <laughs> I think uh, a good analogy for uh, one of you guys know the Cranberries, another uh, great um, Irish band. Uh, the Cranberries wrote a brilliant song a couple of years ago called Zombie. Um, and it was very, very influenced 
uh, both visually and, of course, to listen to, by uh, the north of Ireland and the south of Ireland and the troubles, you know, that have been there present for the last maybe 100 years. So uh, salvation, as Ro was saying, it, it's, it's a lighter Take, a library take, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And the whole point was that we didn't want to go straight into that and make it immediately obvious what we were doing. So the narrative part at the beginning of the song is is kind of a bit about the, 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 the troubles and whatnot. Yeah. We didn't want it just to stand out and be like, absolutely, this is about the north and south. No, I, well, I think that every country has it. And yeah. Even every county might have, you know. Every exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I suppose it's applicable. Try and make it, like, I know. Universal. Yeah, 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 universal. So, um, so it could kind of stand for any person listening to the song who yeah. would be aware of some sort of divide, would exactly. maybe relate yeah. to it. Yeah. Right? Or you might have general instead of it just being like a, yeah. an Irish thing or Northern Irish thing. Well, because, yeah. Yeah. You know? I believe that happens too in the song. You, you know, you listen to it close enough, you can see where, you know, it's like time for a change. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Well, your 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 first song is you actually earlier mentioned, basically off the cuff, is called "Be with Me." It's your only video that you have at, at this time. Um, very dark, very gothic, um, but very uh, uh, let's eliminate that word. Very, it's got a lot of beat to it. Yeah. Can can you? Uh, Describe what that song is and what gave you the idea for that video. Be With Me is, the reason we made a video to it first off was because we were, we're very proud of the song. It crossed us over, we felt, from um, underground, let's say, to a very much more open commercial audience. Being because it's very slow, it's actually a love song, which are... Uh, brilliantly correct in what you said there about the whole dark feel to it because it's it's basically about say a guy uh, or a girl in love with a guy or a girl that they're not supposed to be in love with for whatever reasons we don't know so it's forbidden love uh, admiration to a, a person um, and you know really maybe having some sort of hidden love for somebody that can't ever, it can't be, uh, it can't come out in the open. And it was kind of a pivotal point for us because that writing that song and going in that direction was, because we, we've written songs before, so we come from the, as you were saying, the industrial kind of side, the EBM, and we were down, and so there's, there's a couple of other songs from Touch Off that had that feeling to it, and then uh, Be With Me was coming out the other side, and like Horizons was afterwards, where you went on that mm -hmm. kind of a lot more, not, it's not really poppy, but it's definitely electronic, kind of much more commercialized. And once you might, we, we, we said, right, would you be with me? So screw it. That's just, this is where we're going to be now. I think we were, be with me is quite a Pesh Mode influence. Yeah. 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 So, we were one of our favorite bands. Yeah, so, uh, you know. And, not a bad thing, though. Yeah. So, so, you know, anyone that we, that we've been, you know, talking to about or anyone that has listened to it has, has, a lot of people have made the analogy, haven't they, between yeah, yeah. Be With Me, as in Alibi tracks, mm. Uh, mm. where we are with Be With Me and Depeche Mode. So we would consider that to be a, yeah. a brilliant compliment. Not that we did it on purpose. Well, you know, it, it kind of, let me just throw this at you. The When you said it's um, unforbidden, like an unforbidden love, let's say the man and the woman are both going through divorces on their side, but they get together and they know their hearts are meant for one another, but still, it's really unforbidden until everything passes. Yeah. It right? It really has a feel of someone, uh, two people who could possibly be in relationships and aren't supposed to have these feelings towards each other and do. Right. That's the great thing about these songs is that like you have a different interpretation than, than what we yeah, do, and other yeah. people will, and that's the great part. Is that whether we, we write about a story, what's going on in your mind, or, that, or your head at that certain time, exactly, yeah. it's it's kind of generalized as yeah. well. You're trying to let everyone take their own interpretation. So this is our interpretation, but if yours is different, it's brilliant. Right, it means it. that it yeah. means yeah. worse. Exactly. I would, I would, yeah. I would, I would, I would never have said that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would have yeah. thought it would be what you said. So yeah. 
But I'm sure that happens with obviously a lot of lyrics. But, um, oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, before, well, before we give anybody any ideas, uh, let's go to Alibi Tracks performing Be With Me. Enjoy.
<laughs> we're back. Now, <clears throat> reading your bios, it says your songs, <laughs> you're inspired Excuse by me. everything that reflects their mood, humor, and state of mind. Does that mean Bomer's Guinness or Irish Red? <laughs> it means all of them plus the hard liquor as well. Yes. Plus Jensen whiskey, <laughs> Tullamore Jew. Uh, yeah, yes, exactly. I remember some of the rich. Heineken. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. All, um, all of the above. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Right. So, we get so excited to see the same <laughs> But uh, yeah, so I've the, we've all read some of the best stuff. Pretty much taste out of my head. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I guess it means that we're not trying to pigeonhole ourselves to any style, which we, we kind of did in the beginning. It's just that whatever the whole point of that is that whatever comes out comes out. So we don't limit ourselves to saying, oh, we can't release that song because it's either too heavy or it's too. Uh, bass or it's too intense or it's too light or it's whatever it is so it's just whatever comes out of us there you go that's who we are that's where we are yeah. at that time if you like it right if you don't well maybe like the next one and that, that's what the whole point of, of, the, of that is again well uh, <laughs> that's actually going to lead into the next song called toxic subway <laughs> oh, <yeah>. okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, i mean i mean if you talk about bulmers and guinness and Irish this, red, toxic subway. So this was coming from like a, when we were after salvation, we were toxic, so it's like still yeah. in that kind of. Uh, still in that frame of mind. Isn't yeah. It? So toxic subway was a, it was a, you know a fantasy kind of thing. Just to, I you know I think it was a, just did it for a bit of skit. So it's like meant to be a zombie. The whole idea of the toxic subway is that you're down the subway and you have all like the humans down in the subway. And up above is all the uh, whatever species or whatever zombies up there and taking over the world. And the idea is that we go up there and try and fight them. So at the end, like, um, this is your time to fight with blah, 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 is about us going back up and fighting the bullet and going, right, we're going to take these on. It's a piss take song in that regards to the lyrics, but it's just a bit of fun until people well, might it turned out, It turned out quite dancey. It's, it's real. Yeah, it's a real yeah. Dance track. Yeah. Probably the, the music and the lyrics probably might not um, go hand in hand, but we just thought we'd just be a bit of fun because um, at the end of it, the whole point is it's slow and it's easy and it's like, yeah. this this thing's killing me, it's like we're upstairs, we should be up there, this is, that's our world and they've taken over and it's building up into the part at the end of the song where it just all ignites and everyone just goes mad and uh, that, that's the point of it. So. It's like a good film. Well, yeah, yeah, it would, yeah. For, 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 yeah, well, for those, well, for those that are going to take that transportation, I, I suggest you know, you take a detour someplace else. But for those that want to listen to the next song, here's Subway, a toxic Subway, by Alibi Tracks.
wasn't our first time that we tried to get together. Uh, we did get together once before, and I, I lost count of how many people you had, you had in the room. When all said and done, uh, that, that lovely young lady beside you was out of the picture, and I said, oh, crap, I just wasted a whole hour uh, with what I thought was a fairly decent show, and then I emailed you letting you know, thinking that, oh, God, he's going to throw daggers at me from, a, from across the pond, <laughs> and all was well as far as that was concerned, but it was at that time when I found out that you guys were getting married. So yeah. how, how did that turn out? Right here. Say again? <laughs> how did that turn out? Oh, yeah. Hi. I actually didn't hear you. That was not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. I was still sitting beside me, so I was like, We're still oh, here. We're still here. All right, there you go. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so we no, got Murray Gums. Uh, folks, that was the ring finger. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Now, where'd you guys go on the honeymoon? And uh, just like last September. Yeah, seven months. Yeah. Seven months, yes. <laughs> so, um, Al was our DJ. Al was our DJ, yeah. For our wedding. For our wedding. Yeah. So Fantastic. Was you... uh, a fantastic event. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Wow, okay. Yeah. Okay, so... Actually, I, haven't, we, I haven't looked at that angle of it at all. No. It was pretty interesting. No, yeah, and I think a lot of people just think of, of it as a, a like physical a thing. Yeah. yeah, but it's not. It's, it's actually completely emotional. But um, again, it's... you can. How do you take what? What, do you what take did it mean it? to you? It would, to me, it, like you said, um, with that, it's like having a collision with your inner self. Yes. Sometimes you're doing some, you know, you know that you can do this and it's the right thing to do, but you turn around and do something else and then you're pissed at yourself and it's like, bam, there's that collision. That's okay, he's still fighting with himself. <laughs> so, so for well, your that's brain. Right, actually, that's, well, that's, that's, not, that's exactly what it is. So, you've interpreted the way that, that we wrote it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and, well. And also, you, at that point... Well, for you, ah, for you guys out there, before you hurt yourself, here's Alibi Tracks Collision. <laughs>
ha- has well, been working yeah. there, yeah. And I think it's called the Button Factory quite literally because it was a factory that made buttons in Dublin city centre. Now it's a Oops. venue. Uh, it's a beautiful venue. It would probably be. It would hold about maybe seven, about seven hundred and seventy people. Yeah. <clears throat> and it would be. It's a lovely venue. It's really nice. But, uh, but what? what why we love it? Called, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. It used to be called the Temple Bar Music Centre. So it's bang in the middle of Temple Bar. So. Which you definitely have heard of, haven't you? Yes. Temple Bar in Dublin. Well, you've you've played. <laughs> You've played with a number of bands that, uh, gosh, I don't recognize because of, of the names that they gave themselves. Uh, can you throw some of that our way so our... Uh, we played with a band there, I don't know since the last time we, we spoke, but um, we played with God and the National. Do you know those guys? Uh, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know any of them. I, I'm 64 what, years old. <laughs> what, what, what was the name again? Something National. The national. No, he's he, he, uh, he just hears. I just yeah, I just heard you say something about uh, the band's name. Oh, God is an astronaut. Oh, God, God is an astronaut. astronaut. Yeah. God is an astronaut. That's they, the name of the band. They played in the states many men for for a long. You know, they've been over there loads of times. Yeah, we we played with a few other headlines. Well, they were. Headlines. <coughs> Yeah. Like like EMF, e, 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 you've ever heard of the English pop band EMF? No. They used to have a very famous song called Unbelievable. So we played with them. We played with uh, some an Austrian, um, <laughs> Nachmar was another one. Yeah, and, and again, a lot of this was like uh, the EBM movement as well. Yeah. We actually were due to, to support, would you believe, Gary Newman. Yeah. Who you, you've definitely heard of Gary Newman, right? I have. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, uh, yeah, the dates collapsed. He, he was supposed to come over on a specific date. He couldn't. They brought him over at a later date, and the dates all got mixed up. So unfortunately, that never happened. But you know, maybe sometime again in the future. Yeah. Um. The the song Black Heart Shadows. Uh. How, how did you come up with that one? Bill did. <laughs> okay. He came up with the name. Yeah. I think we. We, that's pretty much down. You wrote that song. I remember you. You put the beat together. You got the. You got that whole thing going, and you named it. I did. Yeah. Blackheart. I think um, you named it. Didn't you? Blackheart or Heart of Black or something. Yeah. So it's. It um, so I, I wrote the song. I took. Actually, that song was one of the songs that um, me and Al at the time. You. It's the only song I've written, actually. That you were kind of going, not too sure about this. Yeah, yeah. And even the producer that we have, Stuart Gray from Jealous Down, great guy, um, was kind of going, where are you going with this? And then, um, so it took a bit, took a while to, to talk them around. And then I showed you the lyrics. It came through, yeah. It came through, yeah. yeah so, in, in short, that's um, about unquieted love, basically. And, uh, that, that's pretty much it. You can read it again. It will be generalised. You can like whatever you can out the lyrics. But um, it, it, like what's what's the line? Um, I, I suppose if you want to, which way to interpret? It's like who said you were the only one? Would be the one thing I would say to whichever way you want to interpret that that song. So, um, but for me, the, the lyrics were one thing, but it was actually the, writing the melody and. Um, Having the, the, the fact that me and Al have written music and Rosie, uh, at that time it was the majority of me and Al. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, um, and having that clash, uh, so the lyrics were very much behind the whole. The, the issue was how we were going with the song. Yeah. But uh, yeah, only quite the love, and as I said, that, that line is how you would interpret the song. Okay, so well, the song. well, for you guys out there, that's actually watching our show. Here is Black Heart Shadows by Alibi Tracks. Enjoy.
know, um, well, we're back. A, a question. Now, you just, how long ago did you, did you sign with AMA Music Agency? Uh, we signed with them about a year and a half ago. You see, the bio I read, it was just like, it, you just signed. Uh, and a year, yeah, it's back in, yeah. And, and you're still, and you're still with them. Yeah, yeah, big time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The uptake there, yeah. yeah. Now, uh, who is Mark Downing? He's the he's the guy that runs the booking agent for Bayonet. All right, so he he does he does all your bookings for you, I I presume. He, is what you he were does, saying. yeah. He does bookings for a lot of other bands, so it would be a catch-all. So he'll get. It. He's a booking for a booking agent for a lot of Irish bands, so it's not just us. He would, he would occasion for a lot of for the acts that the work the circuit. So. And festivals, and everything, yeah. everything, that everything happens. that happens. Yeah. So how's that going for you? Sorry, say again. How is that going for you as far as bookings? Well, we did. Um, we kind of took a bit of time off just because yes. of the, the, the wedding, so we kind of took a back seat. And so this time now we're writing. So we did do a few shows and we had a festival too, but uh, we haven't done much. And the hope is that by the end of this year that we'll have kind of an album, a full album ready. So next year we'll hit all the festivals and start touring again. Also, as I said, Al and myself have, a different, have two different metal bands as well, and we do tours with them as well. So it's trying to find the time to fit into everything. To fit everything in. Yeah. yeah. No. I, 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 I'm assuming that uh, you all have uh, your own jobs um, separate from your your band. Yeah, we, we need you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so the the actual next song that we're going to be talking about is called Horizon. Yes. Can, can can you tell me about that, please? Yeah, no problem. My favorite. It's actually played at our wedding. That's right. Our first dance. Right. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> um, it's the transformation of a person, maybe from a, a bad a person in a bad part of their life to a to a good phase of their life. You know, it's, it's transformation, really. Personal transformation. Personal yeah. transformation. Yeah. That's the word. Yeah. Yeah. Very much so. It's a very bright song. It is quite uplifting yeah. in the end. Um, and that's it. Yeah, our first dance. Our first <laughs> dance. So it was, um, at the at the end is yeah, it's it's definitely kind of the the way that the first. Is it like a new day rising? If you listen to the lyrics, yeah, it's, nice. it's yeah, uplifting. So well, for those out there that that want, that want a, a a dance for their first kind of a dance song to, to dance to, here's Horizon by Alibi Tracks. You light me up. In my darkest hour You lift me up like the highest tower You figure me out like a problem solved It's around you my whole world revolves Me out like a problem 
song of the interview. Uh, it's yeah. called, I'm sorry to say, um, the song is called The Act. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't want to get into actually giving what I think it might be, but I'm going to let you describe it. No, we'd like to go into specific detail <laughs> of what this I think the more, One more specific detail we go into, say. the better. Yes. Yeah. Where to yeah. Why don't you say what you think it's about? It's not going to happen because I think the last time we talked, we went through the same thing. Oh, <laughs> stop! <laughs> tell, tell me what you think. Uh, it's I, I'm not going there. <laughs> tell me what you think it's about. You put you on the spot now, Rob. I'm sorry. It's, it, give me give me two words. It, uh, no. It's <laughs> <laughs> one. One word. Well, he, he put a bunch of ums in there before he said it. Um, I have to answer to a, 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 a higher power, and and uh, she's not here at the moment. <laughs> well, then you can then you can say it. No, because you'll see the show. <laughs> well, you just put a curtain over it when she walks in the room. Not happening. <laughs> I think. Yeah. What did you describe as last time? You had it. You had it nailed. Carnal knowledge. There you go. <laughs> That's why I asked it. <laughs> From the very first line to the very last, that's what it's about. It's a song for couples. Actually, that is the one song that you cannot interpret other than, yeah. one other than the way we wrote it. Yeah. Or you're, 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 you're really missing the point. Yeah, you're Charlie. missing the point. And you don't and be able to on your own. <laughs> is that about couples in love or couples cheating on one another? What? Oh, you had to go there. <laughs> yeah. Well, you said, <laughs> go ahead. You said it was about couples. Yeah. Right? So I'm saying, is it about couples that are in love or couples who are attached and making it up with one another? Whichever couples you, you know. Yeah. They, they can be done as again. They can be yeah. swinging. Whichever way they want. Whichever they want to go. That's it. Well, let's, let's just put it this way. It's uh, not a sharing item. <laughs> uh, let's, let's just put it this way. After this song is done, I still hope I have friends. So, <laughs> here, here's Alan by Trex performing the act. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Taste of skin. Her scent. Catching me. Off guard. Landing 
because I was laughing so hard. Uh, the, my clock on the wall uh, isn't working. The batteries are shut. Um, but, 520. Alibi. Track. I'm going to talk to Bill. I'm going to talk to Ali anyway. Um, those that <coughs> have been watching our show, if they wish to um, check your band out, where would they go? Uh, it's as simple enough, it's alibitracks.com, so that's A-L-I-B-I-T-R-A-X.com. You can get the links to all our stuff from there. Um, and sure, you know, send us on an email. Facebook. Or Facebook. SoundCloud. And SoundCloud, but alibitracks at gmail.com. We would love to come over to the States and play a show, uh, or wherever. Just, just Bring us over. Bring yeah, us over to the States. States. Oh, we'd love that too. Over. Oh, yeah. Um, so, uh, as for myself right now, <laughs> I uh, I had fun the last time that we actually talked that we could that we didn't get you on the air at that point in time. But I'm actually having a lot more fun now because of knowing you uh, three yeah. uh, yeah. since then. Um, if you do come over, I I will expect you to let us know where you're going to be. If you're close, we'll find a way to get to you. Uh, just so we can meet in person. Yeah, of course, that you know. Yeah, no, but yeah. If I hit the lottery, I'll pay for the plane tickets. Yay! <laughs> um, uh, for those that don't want to go to the website and have enough money, uh, you guys go to Ireland and see them in Dublin. Just back saying. To, back to Button Factory. <laughs> so, uh, so f from all from all of us here on OMN TV, uh, myself and Ron. We want to thank you for allowing us into your home. And we want to thank Alibi Tracks for joining us tonight. It was awesome, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Enjoyed, enjoyed the laughs and, and uh, the music and everything. We're and we right do now. hope that even though we're technically come November, we are going country, but uh, because it is you guys that we've had a lot of fun with, I might try to slide that in for another interview if you guys come up with another EP with enough songs that we can do so. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Okay. We'll bring it on. Yeah, we'll hold it to that. <laughs> that was my line. So, <laughs> uh, again, from all of us to, to you, um, I want you guys to have a, a great night and a safe week. And may God bless. <laughs>